Alright, welcome back, back to the final the week of GT25. This yeah, is week number 10, no, Trial no, 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 Mountain. Heading straight into the race here, it is ego, Reverse yeah, Championship. Luck, oh, no, it's... Uh, I actually don't know. We're starting six. I forget what the stipulation is. It's Reverse something or other. Um, reverse Selection Order of Cars. There we go, that's what it was. No, it was... Oh, I forget, I don't care. <laughs> it's We're starting six at Trial Mountain. Uh, luck, I know for a fact that this car is multiple seconds off the pace luck, uh, per lap so when things get up to speed so we're not looking very good here however so we're going to do our best to uh, make the most of this one I wrestled very much with a uh, a five or a six stop five will require a little bit of fusing for two stints whereas the six stop is just full push basically and I thought you know what well with some help from Ross uh, who just convinced me, you know what, just do full send. And uh, I think I'm going to, so we'll see how that turns out. Anyways, we've Lee in front, so again, our nice measure for our pace in this car. I happen to know the Subaru is very quick here, so I know Aaron behind is going to be looking to make some moves early here as well. Ross is in a good position, he's in second. The championship position heading into this race, oh, basically, Vickles yeah, need to outscore Pagani by a lot, by like... 30 points or something it was, or something like that it was it was a lot of points so and Pagani started third so so that was uh, I was yeah it's gonna be tough for him but anyways uh we're gonna Lee gets a rough run out of that uh corner heading into the is tunnel and we're gonna make a move then into p5 so yeah look I the upshot of it is like I could do like 52s or 53s on medians where some people could do 51s uh some people are doing 50s on softs I'm doing 52s or like you know low 51 or high 51 so it's not brilliant uh the pace so it, it yeah and there's 72 laps ahead of us as well so it is going to be a long one but i'm fascinated oh, to see what we can do though okay, uh, starting then on andy then who was on softs to begin here and he's lost a little bit of ground early on here uh, so we were going to make a move then on andy then for p4 and on the brakes we go. Can we stick it in? Uh, that's a f yeah. I don't want to answer that question. Uh, well, we did it. We uh, we made made the move then, and uh, up into P number four. But not for long because the softs are still a much better tire, and Andy is re uh, stabilized and gets a much better run out of that last corner, and he goes swiftly else. back through. Uh, Lee is still keeping Aaron at bay. Uh, I'm going to need him to continue to do that, but uh, there is inevitability. I had a little sniff here to uh, see if it moved past, but thought better of it. Uh, Andy then bails on lap number six, as does, uh, as does Rom on the softs as well. So we're going to go mediums. I'm not sure when I'm using my hards. I have to, again, you have to use the mediums, the softs, and the hards for a minimum of five laps uh, each. So after that you can build your strategy so i'm waiting for as long as possible to use my heart i just wanted to take track position for the time being uh, until uh, until otherwise so here's the inevitability though it's aaron now uh, who's finally you know uh, he's dispatched lee and now aaron is on my ass and he's on my inside on my outside there i gotta leave him the space uh he yeah i go deep and he makes the switch back and he makes that position his so yeah look subaru is i couldn't you know 10 laps uh, i feel for i feel for Aaron because he was stuck behind two jags uh where this, this part here is the only bit we're quicker on but it was enough to keep us in front for the time being uh, anyways then lap number 11 then into the box we go so basically we're going to do uh five no five yes five 11 laps six 11 lap stints <laughs> And then we're going to do six laps on the softs to end. That's how it's going to break down. So it is medium, medium, McGee until we decide to do the hards. And then we'll do the softs at the end to finish. So it's first stops down then. Uh, also, then, yeah, basically we can basically push uh, flat out. Uh, Aaron, then we just nick behind. Uh, yeah, no, can't do anything there. So I need a little bit more. I think, I think I need a bit more. I think I need like 50 more meters. I think we'll, we'll be able to do something. Here comes Fieber then. These Lambos, this Lambo was particularly ominous. Uh, and this is where it began to stretch its legs a bit. So through comes Fieber then. And uh, he is going to take this position and continue. Uh, you know, I, think, I guess really begin his march forward up the grid. And he would uh, go quite high. So that Lambo is in good shape here. Uh, and away he goes. So yeah, not much I could do about there. This is kind of the beginning of the position bleeding. The some it's sometimes sometimes slow position bleeding. This Jack would eventually give up. Uh, so there are some people doing five stops as well. That is something to be considered as well. I thought I'd do the six. We'll see how that pans out a little later on. 
I've been, again, I've been burned in the past for doing too few stops when the the quicker way is more stops, but we'll see how that turns uh, out. Dead hearts. Uh, do, 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 where are we then? P number nine. Yeah, Homer just pops out behind then uh, on his tires, where he's going to be catching me. soon. Andy then has a bit of a moment heading into the tunnel, so we're going to nip in. So we're still in a, I think we're still in a good spot here. Like lap 17, yeah, we're still in a good spot here in P6, but hard to know what's representative and what's not, because like some people have run sauce and other people haven't, so difficult to really see. Uh, lap 22, then we come into our second stop of the day. Uh, Again, go go mediums. Probably won't use hards until late on. I just want to use. I just want to stretch as much as I can for track position, and then see where we are in comparison to others before deciding when to make the move onto hards because they are obviously going to be pretty rough. So here we come then another eleven laps of fuel in the tank, and out we go once again. So fever is quite clearly gone. Uh, Lee's Lee's had one or two foibles behind, so he's uh, in twelfth there. Andy, then we've kind of been yeah back and forth with it as well. Well, Nothing really happened this stint. Lap 32, uh, this is when Homer had finally reeled in about five or six seconds worth of gap, and he then is uh, is going to make a move then into, uh, again, this Renault has been, ever since this patch, this Renault has been very, very good. So he's going to mosey on. And again, this again this Jag has got good straight line speed. This uh, Renault is something else. <laughs> So he goes through then, uh, and uh, go, go, we're down yeah, into P5. But again, I don't, it's not really a net P5. Yeah, we're we're kind of down, still yeah. cycling through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go then, into lap then, uh, 33 then. I decide now to put the hearts on and just get these over with. Uh, Aaron has also had the same idea. I thought, you know what, I've got a decent track position around. I've, I've got a little bit of space. We're not immediately under threat. Let's put on the hearts. Let's get these over with, and then we can just do mediums and sauce to finish, and we should be in good shape. So... Out we come then, and we are going to be in P what P nine. I didn't know the I, I didn't really know what the position what shakedown was at the time, but basically this was basically our track position at this stage. Uh, here comes uh, is this uh, who is this uh, is this Fever? I think this is Fever actually making a move past. I think uh, I'm confused. Is this, uh, hold on, I'm, I'm I'm confuzzled as to what's going on here. No, is this okay? Is this Fever going for a move? Sorry, the screen is very small. I can't see the gap sometimes. So Fieber then is going for the move, then he's going to make that stick. I think he's now, but he, he's basically pissed up ahead now. That's where he's out of things, and so is Aaron. So that's, you know, this is, again, we're on the same pit cycle, but now we are not, uh, but now I think I'm basically a stint behind. So uh, Aaron, I think, has pitched a lap before, as has Fieber, and yeah, this is where I'm at now. I'm, uh, I'm a, st you know, I'm now a whole pit stop basically behind, so. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, you know, we were fighting with these guys early on, but like it just, yeah, the, the pace of this jag is just not at this track, sadly. So, uh, yeah, this this downfall was inevitable, but I had hoped it wasn't going to be as bad as it was, and I still have hope we could beat the five stoppers later on. Uh, so maybe they'll come back to us. Maybe there's a top seven still uh, in play for us here. So, but we'll see. Anyways, an out of P10, uh, Dusty Fossil is in front, but he's out of sequence as well. So. Yeah. Well, this is kind of where we are. We've got Andy and Lee thing. behind, and I think, yeah, I, I don't know who I'm else is there, but... 51, three, uh, two, Homer four, ran out of fuel on his seconds, on his, one of these stints, seven, and he was about 11 seconds behind, and he was able to make a lot of that back up, so it was, uh, yeah, it was quite perplexing. Um, I, I thought, generally, like, here's the thing, I genuinely thought the pace was actually okay in this one. I genuinely thought it was actually, all right, this is actually, it's actually okay. Uh, you know, I'm making you know, the pace I need to make work for the six stop, but it just, it just wasn't enough, was it? Just, it just, it was bad. So, ah, uh, so goes it. Uh, last stop, uh, last stop, then lap 66, our last, uh, we're going to go on to the softs then. Yeah, I kind of, again, once we kind of shook out behind Homer and uh, all that, like, we didn't really see a lot of people uh, around the track afterwards. So, yeah, we kind of ended up settling into that P9, P10 range. I thought maybe we might see some people late on with the softs, but uh, the five stop was, I think, quicker in the end. And I don't know, was it would have been worth trying? Maybe, but the pace of this car was not hot, so uh, it was, uh, it was. I don't know if it was worth it or not. But anyways, here we go. Here we go. Then we're the last unlapped car. Uh, Ross wins the race, so that super was very strong. He had a close nudge against Homer there. Pagani's third and wins the title, so congratulations to Pagani. And 
Uh, Tom and some mugs won the uh, manufacturers or the constructors championship. So there we go. Well done to all those guys involved in GT1 and GT2. So anyways, then here we go across the line one last time. Uh, a minute 28 behind the race leader. Uh, anyways, <laughs> cross the line, and there oh, we go. Yes, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. It's not my fault. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, that was uh, that was that was Tri Mountain. Yeah, not very eventful in the end. Fun to drive though. Like fun to drive for two hours, basically. I don't. Mean, I, I genuinely don't mean that sarcastically. I, I genuinely did enjoy it. It's just there wasn't much pace. But uh, I do enjoy a, a longer stint, so if any yeah, you happy days. Anything this week, you're a dick. <laughs> and uh, that is an appropriate response. So, anyways, then here is the standings at season's end. I think I finished ninth, uh, missing those. Uh, I didn't get any points for those. I was not. I'm not, not saying quoi. As I said last week, it was Alsace. So. Uh, anyways, nothing there. Uh, I did finish ahead of Lee, which in the guesses of the same cards, all I can really aim for. But um, I know he had some foibles along the way as well. So. Anyways, yeah, the uh, season was going well. It was going okay, I thought. And then the mid mid season patch really shaft the balance of that jack, especially the the way the rear would push itself into the corner, uh, basically disappeared, and the understeer was catastrophic as well. And yeah, I mean, we couldn't even take the last corner high speed ring flash. So yeah, so we were kind of compromised really for a little bit. Uh, it wasn't quite the same car we started with, but nevertheless, it's done. It's over. Uh, quick fit. Then we can see we've got the wooden spoon in last. So. Yeah, that's going to do it. There are some good results, I thought, this season. Some good drives, some good pace at Grand Valley. Uh, I thought uh, a very good executed strategy at uh, Daytona, which was good. And very close to Biggles for the race win there as well. So, yeah, I thought some, some good moments, I thought, uh, on the whole this season. And... Yeah, it's just parts of the ups and downs of league racing. But yeah, that's going to do it for this week's edition of FTRL GT 25, uh, the season finale at Trial Mountain. Next is GT 26, new cars, new tracks, slightly different formats, not too different. So yeah, I'll explain all that in due course. But yeah, thanks for watching and until next time.